Top tier greetings from the Wettest region. It is Zeke live from the Bococo Lab coming at you with this anticipated, maybe much anticipated tape review. Um, I've never seen one done before and it can save you quite a bit of bucks. So we have two options here, my original option and then the option that I said I would review which is the frog tape. And the one that we're reviewing actually measurement wise is a 0.94 um, width here is I think 141 yeah which is the standard neck size up which is what the blue tape edge lock uh, by Scotch is gonna be and this is here our 0.94 that I was speaking of um, <clears throat> with the frog tape it is inconsistent uh, to say the best what we have here is a pair of brand new Alpine Star motorcycle boots that I'll be working on and in some areas it works uh, other areas require some different techniques so what I did to make it work in this sense was to try and apply it to where the threads are and use my nail to sort of groove it onto the thread so it has a different surface to um, adhere to that sort of worked. You see these long strips that are sort of long out of the way. The edges around on this softer leather just would not take uh, to the tape at all in the sense of longevity. So that's how we handled that. Uh, you guys saw the custom Kawasaki motorcycle jacket that I did. I had to do that um, without any tape anywhere. I don't like working without tape. Uh, just because I'm such a new artist um, and I do love the paint lines that come out with good tape um, so that was this was sort of the breaking point but I had no more tape um, in the edge lock technology to be honest so I went ahead and figured you know they would stick to brand new leather no problem uh, of the tennis shoe sort so I had trouble even just taping up these uppers, getting these uh, Jordan 1s ready to turn into the custom hairs. And you see that blue at the bottom. Uh, there was just a little bit left on a roll that I had. And I did that just for a review. So I'm going to show you what happens here. Now this is a brand new, right out of the box. We can even actually grab the other one. They're all unlaced. These are the ones that are on Instagram getting ready to get customized into those hairs. Brand new leather. Okay, so this tape should have no problem adhering to it, you know, no problem staying on it, nothing of the sort, right? Let's get a couple pieces. <clears throat> we'll start on a flat surface, make it easy. We're not even going to stress about super clean lines. We just want to get it on the surface, pressing it on there, you know, like normal tape should be simple right I'm sure as I get this piece ready it's already getting ready to peel up press that there so it's not what tape's supposed to do on a brand new clean surface hmm jinkies I don't know well, it might just be that spot or something, you know, but I'm going to go to my trusty, dusty, Huey Bluey, and let's get gooey. I have faith that this is going to work. You saw the other shoe, but just so you know, there's no hidden shenanigans here. tape is such high quality you don't even hear it peel this sounds like paper tape when you and this says paint block technology and I don't doubt that it has paint blocking technology so long as it's on the surface you want it to block the paint from so hmm, this is actually wider than I thought that would be cool because then we can cut a design out of this with a razor and that can be a border of some sorts Let's see. see when you can 
can see the grooves from the sole, you know it's grabbing something. It's securing to something. Um, and like I said, that takes, you know, some... But it should never come back from that, you know. And it should never have difficulty sticking to a brand new surface. Um, it's tape, regardless. Um, if I put scotch tape on there, it should stick, you know. But if I'm trying to get something to seal a brand new surface from a customized surface for a customer then I definitely, definitely don't want to have to be going and acetoning a part of the shoe that should have never been touched and then color matching their white to a white that I have in my stock that, you know, their white may be flat, it may be a higher gloss, it may be pearl, you know, and I don't know their exact ratios of how much pearl they put into whatever was the original white, so... That's why I don't mind doing the extra strips of taping off no matter what the project is. You know, it's just professional to me. It covers my ass before it covers my pocket, you know. So, as you guys see, I've got that on there. I'm not going to worry about lines too much, but you guys saw how fast it popped up. It hasn't moved. So, my vote is Edgelock. Technology. Get on it. Frog tape sucks. Till later. Stay splashed up. Raise your IQ.